Yeah. Right, guys, Toad Free Two One here. I'm bringing you another commentary. It's the second time we're doing it because I forgot to press record the first time. Thank God. So start off. The gun setup you should use. It should be completely down to you. If you like using that gun, you use that gun if it's working for you. I know for sure I can't use the gun most people love, which is ACR. I just despise that gun and cannot use it. My favourite is the TAR, or now it's the FAMAS as well, or the UMP. It does take quite a lot of practice to get used to the different guns. And also use my setup for my perks as scavenger since I stay alive. Stopping power because I want to kill the person easily. And Ninja Pro, there's the highlight of Ninja Pro. I heard that guy coming a mile away. And I'm standing waiting on him. He must think I was camping, but it's because he wasn't using Ninja Pro that I heard him. I hear this guy coming as well. Trying to wait for him, but I missed, so just get him here. It's the advantages of a headset. Personally, I've got Astros, since I thought if I'm going to spend a lot of money on headset, I'd be as well as just spend a lot bit more and getting the best. So I did, and I'm not regretting it one bit. The amount of improvement I've had since I got a headset is not funny. I can hear people a mile off if they're not using Ninja Pro. You can hear Ninja Pro a little bit if they run, or if they jump off objects or reload or such. Hear that guy coming. So yeah, buy a headset, it's worth it in the long run, trust me. The other thing, my kill streak setup is 3, 5 and 9. And that's completely suited to me. You might be sitting at home going thinking, why using a UAV? You could easily get a Harrier or a chopper gunner, but I don't want a Harrier or a chopper gunner. Over the course of a game, my UAV is going to get me more kills and I'm going to get it more often than I would if I got a Harrier or a chopper gunner. So. That's why I use it. Also helps my team out a lot. Not in free throw does it help my team out, but it does help out a lot. How many times have you been saved because you saw the orange dot? Just think about it. Also try and call in your kill streaks when you're safe to do so. As soon as you get UAV, don't call it in. Wait until you know there's nobody around, then call it in. Because how many I've died quite a few times as well because I've called it in and then I can't shoot and someone runs around the corner. This is a bad spot, it's a stupid kill I get here, you should never really stay in this spot because it is the centre of the map spot, you should always try and go to the outside of the map where you can see the centre of the map, if you get what that means. As you can see I always go to this spot because I can see down the tunnel and inside the up the story thing and lots of spawn points are around here as well and people like to run past. If you want you can use claymores because it's easy to hold down this building and play more well. If you'd expect, be patient like I was doing there. I saw the guy in the green dawn stop. Thought he could have been coming my way, so I lay down and just waited for him. But he wasn't coming. But it's patience. I didn't take a risk and I wasn't going to die for doing that, was I? But I could have got an easy kill. Just like there, I'm being too aggressive here and I end up dying. So patience is a key virtue. And here's an example of a bad place to call in your kill streak. I know I still get the kill, but I really shouldn't call it in there since it's the middle of the map. And I die. In a minute, I think. In a shotgunner. Which is now why I use a shotgun as a secondary weapon, because they're overpowered, I believe, compared to handguns. Although there's not a fast switch, but I don't need a fast switch if I've got an assault rifle. Which is my favourite class of weapon to use, if you don't know. So. My controller setup as well, that is very important to how you play. Mine's personally, I'm using Tactical Flip, but remember I'm in PS3, so that's the same as Tactical on Xbox, if you've got an Xbox. My sensitivity is between 5 and 7. I think it's on 6 just now, maybe 7 in this game. That's completely a personal choice. Use something that suits you, don't go out and use 10 because some quickscoper said he don't use his 10, because you'll just fail. You'll fail hard because you'll miss every shot. I had to turn mine down, I think it was an 8 or 9. And I just noticed I was using my SMG and I was shooting circles around the guy instead of shooting the guy because I couldn't control it. On my controller as well, I've got Geotech Real Triggers and Control Freak Analog Stick things. And I highly recommend both of them. If you're on the Xbox, you don't need the, the, you, the Geotech Real Triggers because you've got proper triggers at the back, but PS3 sucks for that. 
There's my second pair of wool, game over. Yeah, I'm following your instinct as well. I know that's an aggressive gameplay, but you should let people come to you like this guy here. So yeah, that's it over and done with. Thanks guys, remember to subscribe and make me get a PVR. Bye.